Hello everyone and welcome to Chatelaine Makes. I'm Lorraine. Welcome back. And uh, this is um, yarn hauls and whips and an Ethel. Okay, so this past Saturday, Tori from Polly's Crochet Creations came up for a visit and we got together and we went shopping. And then we went for dinner and then we went our way and they went their way. Okay, so unfortunately I did not take any, get any footage. It was just caught up in the moments, but we did enjoy ourselves. And so we went to, now she was, she was later getting here than what I had expected. So um, we didn't get to go to all the places that we had planned on. So um, because they were closed. Now we were supposed to meet up across the street from my place. With the construction, they got turned around and detoured and ended up different place, close enough for me to walk. So it changed up what we were planning on doing because I was gonna meet them at work. We were gonna go in and see what we had in the Dollar Tree. And then we were gonna go from there. We were gonna go to Walmart uh, Michael's, we went to Giant Tiger, and there was a couple of, um, oh, and we went to Value Village, there was a couple of other uh, local yarn shops that we wanted to visit. So, we did get to Value Village, Giant Tiger, and Michael's. And that's it. It <laughs> doesn't seem like a lot, but we were on the go. So, uh, we went to Value, Value Village first. Um, I didn't pick up anything. Tori picked up a bag of uh, hooks and needles. And I will link the video from the visit from what she got um, down below in the description box. So we went to Value Village. Then from there we went to uh, Michaels and Giant Tiger. They're together. So uh, Troy's husband dropped us off then he went to Timmy's because it's in the same mall just across the parking lot and we went into we went to Giant Tiger first and then from there we went to into Michael's so Giant Tiger we got um, we both got yarn and did we get anything at Michael's you know what I don't think we did I can't remember Anyways, we hit the bins for the bags. Okay, so I got three three packs of this. It looks like um, not it's not the Karen Cla uh, latte cakes, but it is cake from from uh, Karen. And this is grays and greens. And it kind of looks like blues in there, but I think it's just the shade of gray that it is. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this. It's not showing true to color. And then you've got the glare from the plastic, of course. But I ended up with six cakes of these. I didn't realize Tori wanted some either because Till, um, she was doing her video and mentioned it because I claimed I claimed those so I got six cakes and then I got this one which is a kind of light uh, tan taupey color brown um, this looks like uh, Karen Simply Soft it is soft. I did check it. I, I kind of make a little hole and check to make sure, see how, how soft it is before I buy it. Um, and these bags, including the cakes, were all seven bucks a piece. So that's the end of my bag. So that's what I got last Saturday. Then today I went to Michael's because I needed to get some more yarn. Now, I'm in the process. I am doing an exhibition um, in October. 
and it is the comic and anime exhibition. So I'm kind of trying to gear some of my makes along those lines that they'll kind of um, fit into there somewhat. So I bought this pattern off of Etsy. Now the robe is different because the robe that it had I did it and it was too big so I did my own and I did the spots for the arms so he's got his arms there and I put the button on and for his legs or for his feet and I did his feet different because on the pattern it's got two strands and then the feet at the bottom well I didn't like the way that looked so I just attached mine to the body okay and he does stand up so here's baby Yoda now I have a dragon on the go and I don't have it here because it needs safety eyes before I can continue on I'm also doing another dragon now the first dragon is gold color um, it has wings that one is one of the Pokemon characters this one here looks like Falcor from Neverending Story. And that's what I got, went and got some yarn for today. Now, so I, I did the, the limbs and the ears. Then I did, started the head. Well, I went as far as I could because I need the eyes. So I have eyes coming. And then I started the tail and the body. So here's the tail. Now this does not have any trim or anything on it. I've marked for where the legs go. And the arms, you just kind of place them, guess where they go. There is no spot in particular um, on the pattern where it says. So you just kind of line them up where you think they'd be. Now on top of here goes the wings and, and then the trim on the spikes and whatnot on the tail. So. And there is three colors for that. Now I am using Burnett Velvet, this kind of a creamy color. Now I haven't decided what color, and I also have some more um, in the Burnett Blanket, different colors for my other shade, for my other colors. Now I got this faux fur at Michael's. This is the Gold Frost. I was originally thinking of the pink and doing with red um, accents, but I changed from the pink to the gold because when I seen that, that they had the gold. Now I got two two scan, uh, skeins of that, or balls, whatever you want to call it. Now this is classified as a number six. Recommended hook size is uh, eight millimeter and a nine millimeter for for knitting. Uh, machine wash and dry flat. Um, do not bleach and do not iron. So I doubt that this now this um is going to be it's not really for going to be needing um much cleaning. So don't have to worry about the fact that it can't go in. The washer and the dryer like my other amigurumi so i got that now i did have a coupon for 30 percent off plus i'm a senior so i get an extra 10 percent off off of the rest now okay now i got now you kind of ran things in my other bag. Now I got some, um, this is the Loops and Threads Chenille Home. Uh, there's 109 yards in here. This is a, does it say the color on here? No, it doesn't give the color, but this is kind of a, a dark taupe, um, a brown shade. Okay, so I got that. Kind of looks gray on here but it's brown for to do the baby Yoda and I also got this green color 
in the same specs, the same yarn. And I think this one was um, green moss, I think. That. And then I got um, a light brown, same specs, okay? Now I ordered online, Michael's had 40% off two items. So I ordered the Loops and Threads Chenille Home Slim in a mustard. Now this is same specs as the others, okay? Uh, machine wash warm, uh, only use non-chlorine bleach when needed and dry flat. Do not iron. Dry clean with any solvent except for, and it gives a great big long chemical name. Okay, so this is the mustard. Now the, these ones are, these two I'm gonna show you are for Pokemon. And I got this orange, it's lovely orange. Um, and I can't remember, I think this was just called orange. Not sure, but I think it was just called orange. So that's that. So I told you about my whips and I showed you Baby Yoda. And I showed you all my yarn, that's all I got. So, I um, hope you're having a good day. I did make my um, first sale on Etsy and I got a five star review from my customer who lives in Texas which was really nice and um, so I'm working on getting some more sales and some more reviews okay so I hope you have a good day uh, this is Wednesday so hump day middle of the week um, and um, until next time this is Lorraine from Chatelaine Lake saying don't forget to stop and smell the coffee and the flowers bye for now